I noticed with Sparty, he said that sometimes when you play with a ball or something, he has his own way of playing with it. He'd rather take it and run and keep it away from you. If you've chased him, you've taught him that that's the game. Um, I don't want him to think that that's the game. In fact, I want him to think that bringing the toy to me, a ball on a rope, is more fun, the interaction, um, than he chases him around. That's never going to happen if, he keeps, if we keep chasing him around and we don't get him to bring him back, hence the long line. If ever, uh, if ever a dog said, if ever a dog escapes and gets away on a six foot line, they could be standing six feet from you, and every time you go to pick up the end of the line, they could just move a little bit further away from you. They see that their body actually moves the end of the line. It doesn't work the same way with a 30 foot line. Now the only thing that's bad about a 30 foot line is you gotta be careful that you're safe with it. You don't want it getting ripped uh, around your leg, wrapped around your leg, because it could either break your leg or it could cut you pretty good. You have to learn to keep it away from you and never be standing in the middle of the, of the line. I usually keep, when I'm working with the dog, a lot of times, instead of making right turns, which puts the lines around me, I prefer to make a left turn, which keeps the line off my left side. If I'm going to throw, I can show it to the left, or I can throw it in front of me and I'll be safe, as long as I keep on making these left turns. Now, I'm going to stimulate him. Sit. That's Sparty. Good boy. 